are you having this error that you see here? 513 and the computer is not detecting the fan. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can fix this very quickly. All right, to remove the computer, the, the face plate that you see here, very easy. What you have to do is pull this up a little bit, the one on the bottom, and then this one you have to push, and then you're going to be able to remove it very quickly. And then after that, we are going to be able to install the fan inside. All right, so here you have the, the computer. So I took it apart and I was going to install this. This is the interior, the, um, the original part that it should go here, but it doesn't fit. So if you have a HP, as, as you can see, HP C4G4, I, um, I was going to remove this. I thought, okay, maybe I can remove this and put this, this plastic. And even I tried to put this uh, plastic, you know, somewhere here. Of course, I know this is going to be kind of like that, but there is no holes that are going to fit, you know, to fit it, to, to put it in this side. So instead of cutting the the case, you know, doing a lot of work just for the fan, I, I thought, okay, maybe if it fits like that, I can put it like that. And as you can see here, uh, you will see the the plug is is there, so is there. So I was able to hook it up. Now I, I'm going to turn it on, and that should be it. So you can put any screw. This is it's going, it's not going anywhere. If you want, you can make maybe an extra hole here to put the screw the screws on the bottom. But with the one on the top, this is this is not the car, so it's not going anywhere. So it should be good. So that is how I was able to find the solution. I couldn't find the option in the in the BIOS. If it was a regular computer, you go to the BIOS and put the disabled, you know, to to check the the speed fan uh, here. But uh, this was the only solution that I was able to to find, at least for for this uh, computer. As usual, I am in US. If you need tools, electronics, parts, or anything, just let me know. I can ship it to you worldwide. Otherwise, if you're here in US, I'll try to leave the, in the video description the link so that way you can buy it yourself. Hopefully this video was useful. If you have any question, please let me know. And I'll see you next time. All right, so now we are going to turn on the computer so that way you see, and everything it works. It will start booting up. There we go, uh, it's booting up. And I'm not getting any error, as you can see here. So I have eight monitors, at least in this setup that they have and everything is great there we go as you can see no errors no nothing so hopefully you have enjoyed this video i'll see you next time